Hey, what's up everybody? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, I've been in a pretty weird funk lately, but you know what usually helps? Art. Yep, mm-hmm, that's right, it works every time. Just gotta do some art and, yep, that'll, that'll work every time. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, art usually does make me feel better, but as I'm gonna show you today, I'm taking those drawings that I did from my last video and turning them into 3D models. And my goodness, if you have ever seen any of my videos or even know me personally, I'll tell you all day how much I hate 3D modeling. Yeah, so maybe <laughs> art isn't always the answer, but anyways, small recap. I made a couple of drawings from the Kitchen God character that I was, you know, designing for. I was making like his living space for a class assignment and it has to be in the style of the, uh, the Guardians movie. Uh, and now I have to turn that drawing that I did into a 3D model. And this is tough. I think what I don't like about 3D is that it's very technical, in the sense that I feel like I'm not creating art, I feel like I'm just mashing a bunch of shapes around. And yeah, sure, you can argue that, you know, that's kind of basically what sculpting is as well. Which of course, sculpting is a form of art. But when making 3D stuff, there's a lot more that goes into it. You have to think about what type of materials you want to render, and you have to be conscientious of, you know, your FOV. You have to make sure that things aren't clipping, which, yes, when you turn in a rendered image, you can't tell what's clipping, but we had to turn in our files, and our professor would go into our files and check to see if anything was clipping. And if anything does clip, he or she may take points off, and yes, I also tried to get away with it, and I didn't. I got points taken off my assignment, but anyways, yeah, you can't be lazy when it comes to this stuff. And uh, you have to make sure everything connects properly, and that's actually like a really big thing. Uh, making things connect properly, it can be like a little tricky because you have to be aware of what vertices are and like how they're connecting because you can get like really weird shapes that are very annoying to work with. And you know what? Since I'm already getting into it, I'm just going to kind of pop off on a second on, like, the complexities of 3D. So, yeah, let me tell you about n-gons and triangles. So sometimes, when you're merging shapes together, you get shapes or polygons that create triangles. And triangles are bad in modeling because that's what I was told. <laughs> I really don't know why they're that bad, but they are. Now, even worse than triangles are n-gons. n-gons are polygons that form around the object that you create. And the problem with n-gons is that they create a lot of artifacting and pixelation in your models. So like when you see an old PS2 game or something that looks a little wonky, it's probably because there were some n-gons and the designers probably hadn't figured out what was causing all that to happen or how to you know fix the end they, they probably just thought it looked good enough maybe who knows that but that's probably my best guess as to why the models have like all this distortion a good example of what an n-gon kind of looks like is this picture that i found on google on the left it shows what the shape should look like as it has a bunch of four-sided polygons around the model and we call these quads you want to make your models out of quads four-sided polygons because they're the easiest to work with and they will always smooth out every time. And the other model on the right, if you look really closely, you can see some pixelation and distortion. And that is because there are polygons that have more than four sides, which we call n-gons. And they're called n, n is like the substitute for like multi-sided basically, because you can have, a, you know, pentagons, hexagons. Uh, and just to shorten it, you have n-gons. You don't want to have anything with more than four sides. And having n-gons in your model not only makes your model look bad, but in a school setting, you also get points taken off your grade. And there are many ways to deal with n-gons, but the thing is, they take a lot of time to manage and fix, which, if you're a student, could be detrimental to your time for other things. Which is why, you know, n-gons are just... They're <laughs> It, it, it brings me back to my last video where I was saying I didn't want to like model complex objects because the likelihood of having more n-gons in those objects because they're high res is very likely unless you model in a very you know correct fashion which I don't know how to do I'm I'm, I'm not new but I'm not a professional either and I'm not going to spend all my time on a 3D model when I'm a 2D student so now I'm going to assume that y'all hardly paid attention to half of what I just said right there. And you know what? I don't blame you. <laughs> uh, it, it, it brings me back to my point. When I'm doing all this 3D stuff, it doesn't feel like I'm doing art. I feel like I'm troubleshooting computer errors 
while trying to make a basic object. And you know what? Don't even get me started on UVs. If you thought that was confusing, wait till I show you what UVs are. If you thought modeling was like super technical, it gets way worse. And you know what? You know what? I have footage of me doing UVs and I can't wait to share the, the pain because oh my gosh, they are actually awful. And you see, that's, that's not the attitude you want to have when you're creating something. So yeah, in short, I hate modeling. <laughs> However, I do have to give it some credit because it can be cool, especially for my own personal benefit and like when I'm not being graded and pressured. I've seen people use 3D modeling to help with character proportions, room designs, and then taking those rendered stills and then drawing over it which is what we did for another assignment that I unfortunately did not record. But in that sense, I think it's useful. I also think it can be fun when you freeform uh, build and like kind of mess around with everything because it's almost like playing Minecraft or like any other sandbox game. Cause like you can also download like, you know, free models and places and you can toy around with different objects. And I think your creativity could be endless and like 3D can actually be fun. However, there is like a steep learning curve to each program. You have to have a decent amount of computer knowledge uh, as well. And if you want to be a professional, you do have to know how to properly model because if you're going to be working with a team and you turn in something that has like a bunch of clipping objects, a bunch of end gons and things like that, you probably won't be too successful in your career. And like I said in my last video, I've done a lot of 3D modeling. I've done it for like about two, three-ish years, on and off of course, but you know, I, I've been doing it for school and stuff like that, and I have a pretty good idea that, you know, after all this time, I still do not enjoy it whatsoever. And uh, yeah, that's all I really pretty much have to say. This is, it's just a quick little video of me modeling, but um, yeah, here's the finished room. It's pretty simple, and I put on some basic Lambert shaders, and I can't remember if I rendered this in Maya or, Ar or Arnold, but they're basically the same. So uh, anyways, yeah, thanks for joining me with this rant, my insight on 3D modeling. Uh, in the next video, it'll be another continuation of this school project, but next time we'll be doing the exterior, so stay tuned for that. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that. Um, I really hope you have a wonderful day. It's kind of, it's, it's really dumb. I, do people even make it this far in my video? <laughs> Just kidding. Sometimes I feel like I'm in real short supply of wonderful days. It's a horrible mindset to have, but I don't know. I think I'll get better at it someday. I just hope you guys watching have a wonderful day. Go out there, make art, send it to me. I don't know, send me art, do something. I don't know. <laughs> send me art. That'll, that'll be the challenge. If you made it this far, go send me some art. Tell me what you liked about it. And yeah. Thanks for tuning in. All right, I'll see you later. Uh, I see you also chose Android 16. <laughs> 16. 16. Cause he's bad. <laughs> I like birds. <laughs> I have to at least try. <laughs> I wish he said <laughs> We have done it your way. Now we do it my way. The bird way. We fly. <laughs> I, I thought you would have learned by now. Yeah, I've never met you, but I thought you would have learned by now. <laughs> what in the? <laughs> what in the? <laughs> Does it just obliterate your kneecaps? Oh. Pew 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 pew. Oh. oh. No. Ah. <gasps> Not the elbow guns. Oh. Oh, I missed. Ah. <laughs> Oh, uh, I can't. It's not working, Jesse. It's not working. <laughs> What's no, on? My special. <gasps> oh. 
Ah, oh, God, a walk the naked off. stop. Oh, there it is. Oh, I could charge it. Ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like belly punch. <laughs> Android 18, it's up to you! Oh god, no! Oh my god. Yeah, I didn't think I'd block that for a second. Oh. Oh, I forgot I'm not a Super Saiyan, so I can't do that. Oh! Get down! No! Oh! Oh no! Uh oh. <laughs> I just screamed. <laughs> Oh, not Freezer. Oh. Freezer's only weakness in Android. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I blocked that. Oh, come on. Controller, please! Uh oh. Oh! <laughs> oh, okay, I see how it works. It's down back RB. Yeah. And then down forward. Forward RB. No, L, LT. No, RT. Yeah, no, no. It's. You can use RB and LT as the same. Oh. Ah, no. <laughs> oh, I got destructive. 